Hello, welcome back. After two months of not posting a video, we're back. Things are a bit different around here. We've got a new van, it's a new year, and we're about to head off for some new adventures. We're currently in Spain, um, where we'll show you some awesome spots we head to in North Spain in the first week of January. But before we do that, we probably need to do a little bit of a catch up and run you through why we're no longer in an old van and we're in a new van. So yeah, let's do that, let's catch up. If you're new around here, we're Jack and Joe, and that's Frank, our adventure dog. For the past two years, this converted sprinter van has been our home on wheels, as we've traveled to wild corners of the UK and Europe with the aim of escaping the rat race, to get back into nature, and to explore more of this beautiful world. This metal box has taken us on some incredible road trips. From the remote islands of Scotland, to stunning sunsets and beaches in Portugal, Spain, and France, it's taken us across Italy, to adventure in the Balkans where we hiked snow-covered mountain peaks in Albania and parked up by beautiful coastline in Montenegro and Croatia. But things change as we travelled the incredible Wild Atlantic Way in Ireland. We started to outgrow our camper van. It felt like we needed to switch things up and after getting a tour of our friend's Luton van, we knew it was time for an upgrade. After returning from Ireland, we unpacked our van, we listed it for sale and it was sold. It was pretty emotional, we won't lie. But our adventure is only just starting. We then bought a new empty box sprinter van and we dropped it off for some van builders, Van Life Creations, to have it converted into our dream camper van. And after two and a half months, just in time for Christmas, they created this beauty, ready for another adventure in 2023. We set off to Europe via the Euro Tunnel on December 29th. And that's where our next adventure begins. So sit back, relax, and come along for these wild journeys in Europe in 2023. So now you're caught up, we've driven, how far do we drive? Basically all the, all the way through France. We're the north of Biarritz, north of Biarritz. Um, on a really nice air actually, it's filling out, it's New Year's Eve. And I think we're going to head to the beach and watch the sunset for our last night of 2022, which has been pretty awesome, Joe. Had a good year? It's been a good year. It's been a very good year. Um, but we're looking forward to 2023 even more in our new home. With our friends Charlie and Tash and yeah, let's go to the beach. <laughs> So the place we're staying is a place called Contis. Um, we just picked it on the map because it looked lovely. The whole kind of coast of this part of France is one massive beach, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, it's lovely. Quite quiet because it's off season, but the weather's still fantastic. Still, I think it got up to like 19 degrees today, which after a cold snap in England, it's bloody lovely. <sighs> so catch up with the guys. Lovely sunset to drink a beer and watch the dogs go crazy to or, or have the time of their lives. They're having the time of their lives. The time of their lives. Yeah. We're having the time of our lives. Lovely New Year's Eve celebrations. And we're not gonna do anything today. We're gonna to chill out, but let us, let us show you one of our favorite features of the new van when it's nice and sunny outside. There's Joe, nursing, yeah. nursing a hangover, or you all right? I'm 
you're fine. cool that is and imagine how cool it is when we parked up with a beach behind us sea breeze coming through the massive window oh, lovely and there's also a bit of a garage space it's a good way to spend the first day of 2023 isn't that right frank while we take it slow and chill out in the van definitely not hung over let us show you a bit more of Conti's plage. Set on France's southwest coast, this sandy beach stretches for an incredible 230 kilometers along the Atlantic Ocean. Conti's plage is a popular summer beach resort town and, as well as its incredible beaches, it's surrounded by dunes and a huge pine forest with walking and cycling routes that go on for miles. We'd 100% recommend this spot if you're heading this way. bloody grim out there um, but we had two days of lovely, lovely sunshine to see out last year and see in the new year we're now going to head off head further south into Spain I think the weather's going to improve a little bit um, but this air is really good nine euros a night so that's like seven pound ninety or something like that um, in British pounds um, and yeah water grey water emptying electricity included France really knows how to do airs and Spain does too, but France is like top tier um, camper van airs to spend the night. Really, really good. But yeah, as soon as our grey water goes, onwards. Let's go, baby! Right side of the road. Go on the right side right of the side road. Right side of the road. Just sweet on baguette. Oh, she's a ranger. Right side of the road. <laughs> Pay the toll. Spaniard, baby. Only an hour and a bit drive into Spain, um, but the theme of this trip will be travelling slowly. So I think we're going to leave today here and catch up tomorrow because the sun's setting. Parked up in a strange car park, kind of up in the hills, um, just before Bilbao, with views of like the sea and stuff. Really beautiful, and we're going to do a hike tomorrow. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Morning. Morning. Here you go. How nice is this? Oh. How nice is it that you're sitting on the other side of the sofa and I'm not in your way? Yeah, it's lovely to not have you off my grill. <laughs> Do you like this new van, Frank? I think that's a yes. Just kind of look at me with kind of really intense eyes. You just want to go. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to walk today. Couldn't tell, possibly tell you where we are, but I'll tell you when we're out on a walk. But it's just nice. The sun's come out. We've still got our stalkers with us, if you can see them. <laughs> They're over there, looking for internet signal. We've got this third wheeler coming with us today. Oh, there he is. Feeling in the relationship as well as the walks. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go? Let's go. Where we're going, but Do you not want to look at the route? No, okay. Like what colour was it, Joe? Orange. Orange, okay. As long as you're sure. I've got plenty of food, plenty of drink. So you sure you know where we're going? No. Oh good. I'm just the leech coming along. <laughs> <laughs> it's the place that we're staying near is called Hondorabia. How was my pronunciation of that, Joe? Hondorabia. That works. 
literally on the French Spanish border. Nice little car park. Seems really popular with walkers. And we've just picked a route, or Joe's picked a route. And it looks like it takes us down the hill that we're parked up on, all the way around the coast. It's a really nice, beautiful, sunny day today. We've got shorts on. It's shorts weather in January. Unexpectedly beautiful walk. Look how happy they are. Really nice walk. I think we're saying on the walk, this is why we love traveling in a van because we probably wouldn't have come here. Some random border town between France and Spain. But yeah, really nice. The weather's beautiful. Walked down to the coast and now back to the van with Joe. Time to let some light into this van. So what we said when we designed this van, we said the most important thing to us was to have windows that we could look at views from. So I think we've achieved that. The plan is now just to chill out. Slow travel, slow travel. We're all about slow travel. Slow travel lasted for a two hour lunch break. But we're still slow traveling, but we decided to drive down the uh, mountain pass a little bit onto the way to a sea seaside town that we're gonna check out tomorrow. But look at this viewpoint we just stopped at. Unreal. 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 It's beautiful. Car. What's your favourite view? I don't know, there's too many to choose from. See? Look at home. Well, the mountain's over here. Wow. I don't think we're going to make it to the uh, seaside town today, are we? <laughs> Got a bit way away. Got a bit, yeah. But this is slow travel. This is what we mean by slow travel. It means we're not in a rush to go anywhere and we can stop and enjoy and sit. Put a hot drink on, enjoy the view. And Frank can nap wherever he wants. <laughs> you out there, mate? Yeah, Frank. <laughs> big walk. First official brew review. Cheers. Cheers. Well, first official brew review in the new van. We watched an awesome sunrise this morning from the van. It was beautiful. We've driven down from the mountain range, um, which is actually part of the Pyrenees, or at least the start of the Pyrenees, from the sea to the Pyrenees, and the Pyrenees go all the way across um, to the other side, like Barcelona and stuff. Um, we've driven to San Sebastian, Domestia. Yeah, I think so. Um, and we're going to go for a mooch, because apparently it's one of the best places to go to, to basically... It's a foodie place where apparently they've made tapas and snack in like an, a bar snacks, like an art form. And there is quite a lot of veggie and vegan stuff. So we're going to go. We're going to mooch around. Joe was telling me. What are you going to do today, Joe? Eat for at least four hours straight. And how many glasses of wine did you say you were going to drink? Seven. Seven? <laughs> apparently she's going to drink seven glasses of wine. Um, parked up in an air. You crammed in like sardines. But serves a purpose because it's quick access to the city. Q Spanish music, Q Moochin. Let's go. Vamos. San Sebastian was our kind of city. We aimed to spend one day here, but we ended up going back into town the next day because, well, the city was just our vibe. We walked the beach, we walked the promenade, and we walked around the old town and its narrow streets. We mooched, we ate a load of food, we drank, we ate again, and well, we drank some more too. Yes. 
Leute. After two awesome days in San Sebastian, thanks to uh, We Bought a Van for recommending that to us. And um, we were with them. And if you haven't checked them out, you should check them out on Instagram or YouTube. Uh, they're traveling around in their van with their two lovely little dogs, uh, two of Frank's best mates now. Um, yeah, so we're heading over to Anadio, I think it's called, which is some hot springs. We're gonna go hopefully have a nice soak in there tonight. And um, yeah, we'll catch you there. Crazy drive. We were on and on about whether we were going to drive this far because it was like two hours inland. But the road from San Sebastian to Anadio, where the hot springs are, has just been exceptional. We've had like really weird fog. We've gone from like temperate green zones full of forest to now like basically it looks like the it looks like the like the wild west, right? Yeah, it's really. Cool. It's really cool. Like really, like the topography is like completely changed. It's amazing. We arrived at Arnadio with the intentions of visiting the hot springs that evening. But what we didn't account for was the fact that we'd arrived in the evening of the Night of the Kings, one of Spain's biggest holidays. It was packed. So, instead of basking in the hot springs that evening, we basked in this incredible golden hour sunset. And we did a spot of bird watching too. These spectacular griffin vultures were soaring high above us. And we just managed to catch them on a camera, with them roosting on the rocks. How cool are these? We then went to bed with plans to hit the hot springs first thing the next morning. Good morning, hot springs take two. It's 8.30 this morning, the sun's just about creeping up over the mountains. I think it's actually a good thing that we're going now rather than when it was really busy yesterday because I think we'll appreciate it more. But it's bloody freezing out there. <laughs> it's so cold. It's so I think it's like zero degrees after being like really warm by the coast. I mean, it did get cold at night, like to eight degrees, or something like that. But there's like moisture on our windows today, which we haven't had since we were back in England. But I think it'll be good. We just need to do the really cold walk down to the hot springs, get really hot and enjoy it. I'm really jealous about Frank right now, though. Frank, yeah, Frank, you're just going to be all right here, aren't you, mate? <laughs> Thank you, nice and tasty. Had the heat on and everything, but just want to make sure he's warm. He'll be fine. Look at him. Such a lazy dog. Oh, Most gosh. other dogs would be like, why am I not going for a walk? Frank's just like, okay, I'll just chill here. <laughs> Good boy. All right, let's go wake up our neighbours and go to the hot springs. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> mate, we're all wrapped up warm. What are you doing? I'm, I'm British and I'm in Spain, mate. <laughs> Loving those shorts. Look at those. Look at those. Like in oh my god. Is you go in the hot baths, then you go in the cold bit of the river. <laughs> How cold is it going to be? Come on, mate, that's the sexy thing, my best boy. Charlie didn't even go in. Makes that feel better though. Oh. 
That was a bit much, that. I'm actually like st yeah, stinging. No, mate, it took my breath away. I wasn't Wim Hof. I wasn't Wim Hof. I think we're going to end it here. Um, we're going to head back to the ghost and in our warmth. yeah for some warmth and to explore more of like northwest Spain speeches. I think it's like Canterbury and Galicia. Mm. Is it Galicia? I'm not sure. Don't know. But <laughs> next week we'll have a great idea of what that region's called. I think it's Canterbury. But yeah, we're going to head up to that way, explore some of the awesome beaches up there. So that'll be in the next video. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll probably do a van tour video at some point as well. So let us yeah. know if you've got any other questions about the new van. And yeah, we'll see you then. See you in the next adventure.